Okay, this is a quick video on the Pika P with a tilt sensor. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up the Pika P so it um, uses the relay options. Um, this is a Pika 100P6, uh, which is a 24 volt input. I have 24 volts coming from the power supply to the Pika at the back. The Pika is sending the excitation voltage to the Penny and Giles SST sensor. Now, the excitation voltage is 24 volts. Um, but this device can actually handle anywhere from 8 to 30 conditions of the voltage um, to uh, uh, the actual sensor and comes out as 0.5 to 4.5 volts across the voltage swing. So this is a 10 degree sensor, so it's plus minus 10 degrees. So in the middle you should expect 2.5 volts, at 10 degrees you should expect 4.5 and, and at half a volt you should expect minus 10 degrees. Now, um, this is how you go about setting this unit up. First of all, what you want to do is press the button on the furthest right hand side, which will go into the program mode. With the center button, you can actually have a look at the input that you have. First, what I want to do is check that it's a 10 volt input. You can change it to 0.1 one, uh, one of a volt. 20 nanoamps, uh, sorry, it should be actually 20 milliamps, this is a process meter, or 60 volts, um, but what I'm choosing is the 10 volts, it's the closest scale to my sensor. So I'll press program again, which is the furthest right, so I was pressing the middle button to scroll through it. Okay, so I went to the input, and then I went to, with the right button, I actually went and scrolled through different things. Now, if, if you keep pressing that button, you will actually see that it went to store the program input 10 volts and I press that again it actually returns the program if I press it again it actually stores my settings so in I go into program I want to go into the display mode which is two presses of the middle button and there's two ways you can teach um, this unit uh, how you want it to operate the scale is probably the most accurate way of doing it if you don't uh, sort of have absolute calculations in your mechanical device. So I've gone into scale and now I press the furthest right hand button and it looks at input one. Input one is the actual voltage value that I want for the um, highest value um, that this is going to read which is four and a half volts. Now how you change this, you have three buttons at the bottom. First one is what we were pressing before and the middle one furthest to the left is another one. If you press that, that actually changes the digits and you can make that anywhere from 0 to 9 and negative. So at the moment I want a program to be 4.5 volts. So the middle button will scroll to the next digit. As you can see there. And this one here changes the value which is the furthest on the left. Now once you've done that you press enter once. Now it actually asks for display once. What is the value that you want to display? Now this is a 10 degree sensor, so I'm going to go and show this as 10 degrees. So there we go, 10. And I press the um, furthest right hand button. Now it actually gets to the decimal point set, so I'm going to leave it where it is. So it's 0, 1, 0, 0. Now input 2, it's going to ask what is the lowest value for the range. So here I actually want half a volt at 0, 0, 0.50. So you can see that's actually going to uh, assume that um, half a volt is going to be the other ex uh, extension of the, uh, of the range. Now did you see actually went into store mode? If you leave it flashing for too long, it'll automatically store data. So just in case you lose power, it's not going to um, you know, lose all the input, uh, uh, settings that you've put in there. So again, back into program display and just go through to where we were working on so that was positive 10 now input 2 we started to work on um, which is half a volt display 2 what do you want the display to be I want this to be a negative see the first character I've turned into a negative by just scrolling through the numbers so I want that to be negative 10 volts so I'll change that to 10 and press OK I press store so now when I move the device as you can see here, I'll just undo the latch. That will move up. Now the device will measure past 10 volt, uh, uh, past its uh, range. 
So we'll ma measure slightly past 10 degrees, but 10 degrees you are sure that it is 10 degrees with uh, 4.5 volts and if we drop it down to nearly zero, so it's 10 and minus 10, so this is our range. Yeah. Now another thing you can do with the relays is you can actually set this off, the set point. Now set points will actually activate relays to go high or low. And what the way to do that is to press program once and then the furthest, well not the program button, the press uh, the furthest right hand button once and then the furthest left hand button once and it showed you that it was actually going for set point one voltage or sorry set point one volt value and what value do you want it to be. Now I want this alarm that I'm going to trigger off with the relay to be at let's say five degrees okay now it's going to go to set point two and I'm going to keep it as a negative negative five volts again you change these values like you did with the set points uh, like with the actual uh, set of the range points so press store so now when I move You can see at 5, set point 2 came on, and at 5, set point 1 came on. Actually, the other one was negative 5, so there you go. Negative 5, set point comes on. That triggers the relay, but it keeps measuring, obviously, for you. Um, one other thing you can do is you can actually configure the set points further. can do is you can configure the set points further and you can actually have the relays latching or opening um, at different uh, positions. To do that, press the furthest right hand button and then the middle button until you get to set, which is for set points. Press the right hand button again and we're going to configure. You can actually set up a delay um, for the set points. I'm actually going to have instantaneous so I'll leave that at zero. Um, now, set point one, I want it to go high when it's reached, and then goes into set point two. Now, again, for set point two, you want the delay, how many seconds? Now, I've got that set to low. When I've actually had that set to high because it was a negative number, it was um, triggering uh, on. So, if you're using negative numbers, you've got to use the in um, inverse of what you want it to do. So, I've set it to low. Just to show you that what will happen if I set it to high, install that see set point two is already on and it will actually turn off at the opposite so because it's a negative number it's got to do with the way the microprocessor works inside so I'll go back in there program set point configure one delay high and then the second one change to low Store, and you can now see the set points work as intended.